In Citizens Awareness Network versus United States, a public interest group and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission got into a dust-up over the procedural rules for hearings before federal agencies. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission regulates the licensing of nuclear reactors used for power generation. The Atomic Energy Act requires the Commission to hold a hearing on request of any interested party before issuing a new license or renewing an existing one. These hearings were conducted in accordance with the Administrative Procedure Act, or APA. Initially, anyone who wanted a license for a reactor had to undergo an on-the-record hearing, much like a trial, complete with discovery and witnesses. The process could take years. In the late 1990s, facing an upcoming barrage of renewal applications for older reactors, the Commission decided to streamline its hearing procedures. It determined that the Atomic Energy Act didn't mandate that hearings be on the record, which gave it the option of a truncated procedure. In 2004, the Commission announced new rules under which hearings would be conducted primarily by hearing officers. Instead of discovery, parties would make mandatory disclosures. The officer would question witnesses. Parties would be allowed to submit questions in advance, but the officer wouldn't have to ask them. The right of cross-examination was significantly restricted. Citizens Awareness Network, an anti-nuclear organization, protested that these changes didn't comply with the Administrative Procedure Act's requirements for on-the-record adjudication. It claimed that without discovery or cross-examination, it wouldn't be able to gather the information necessary to participate in licensing hearings. It brought suit before the First Circuit, asking it to rule that a reactor licensing hearing should be a fully formal adjudication. The court concluded that it had first-instance jurisdiction to review an agency action of this type.